Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. I'll be teaching you some techniques to follow for the background. So we're going to be making a simple looking background today. So here we go. Hit X to delete this thing like that. And hit Shift A to bring up this menu bar here. Hit Plane. Now we have this plane thing here. Hit S to scale. You know, like to increase the height and width and like that in an equal proportion. So I'm going to scale it to this part. And if we have this going on in the object mode. I'm going to hit and go to like edit mode. The shortcut for this can be tab, tab. Yeah, so tab can be the circuit for moving into the edit mode and the object mode. So we can go and see one of these x-ray mode here. These are the modes where you can see everything happening in the render mode and x-ray mode and shading mode and everything like that. So we are going to select two of these vertices like dragon pool. Yep. And hit E to exclude and it's going to take you to other directions. So hit G to grab and take it to the other side. So this is how it looks already. It's quick and easy. Don't panic. And now the front part is go to X-ray mode. That will help you to be very precise with whatever you're doing. And just select all those vertices. Hit shift and select all those vertices like that. And hit Control B to bring up the sectioning thing. And I am using a keyboard and I don't use mouse, so I'm going to hit Control B again. The ones with mouse can hit the scroller on, but as I'm not using any mouse, I'm going to hit Control B. If you want to bring up more, Control B again. And that's going to like create more such scrollers. Control V is such a good game changer. Control V just helps you to be precise. Yeah, now that's the background already. Now go to tab, and go to object mode, and you will see the backdrop looking like this. So now go and just right click and do the shade smooth. That's gonna smooth up your line thing there and so here it is you can go to the property section here and hit new and that's going to bring up the color so you can go and change your color to any shade you want so that's easy so this is how you make a background i'll be coming up with more videos that's going to talk about the quick tips and techniques about the blender i've learned throughout the years so Please be tuned and enjoy creating things in Blender. Bye.